Well hey there my friends, I am just sitting here in my living room and I thought I would give you a little update about what I was up to today. So as many of you know, um, my husband will likely be finishing this job fairly, fairly soon. If you're new to my channel last year, we went through a nine month layoff. The nature of my husband's work is he does contract work and um, he works on projects that are either in like a mine shutdown or he works on like buildings that are being built. He is an industrial plumber so he basically rather than doing like residential work where he comes and plums your toilet if it's stuck, um, he goes into buildings and lays pipe and does all kinds of things like that. Um, he's the foreman on his job. He is the highest credential that he could possibly be in Canada. However, his job is just really subject to whatever the conditions are in the city that we live in. Um, and if there are no buildings being built or things like that, there's no work. Um, so anyways, it is sort of a feast or famine kind of mentality. We live in a mining town and that's just what everybody says and that's kind of what it is. So we've learned to kind of roll with the punches and we've been hit a couple times with almost year-long um, unemployment so anyways I some of those times have we've been more prepared than others and I hope to go into this bit of time um, being more prepared than we were last year the chances are really strong that he will actually have a job after this one is completed um, but you never know and things literally literally change on a dime around here all the time it's hard to plan anything because it changes so much however we're heading into summer my daughter has two weeks left of school um, she's done the very last day of June and then the following day is a holiday here in Canada and then we are just head on into summer we've got lots of busy plans for the summer although it's gonna be a very low-key summer for us but lots of changes are happening so I wanted to get my thoughts together today and put some things on paper and um, do some layoff planning. So I'm gonna flip you around and share with you kind of just what I have written out and some thoughts that were swirling in my head that are now on paper. So let me share with you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm sitting here at my coffee table. I have my Good Girl Moonshine from Strong Healthy Mama. I had a coffee and I had my laptop open for a little bit there. I was um, looking at some stuff on our library website um, just some different books and things that I can pick up. Some of them are ebooks, which is kind of nice, so I can instantly download them and read. And I'll kind of, hopefully, if I remember, I'll get to that further in our list. So, anyways, I wrote up here this quote from Benjamin Franklin failing to plan is planning to fail. And I'm a planner by nature. I have always, always, always been a planner. Um, even when I was like in elementary school, I would make elaborate plans of events that maybe weren't even going to happen like we were going to have a party and I wrote out all of the information and I color coded it and over the years I have sort of um I've been teased about my planning so I you know sometimes shy away from it but whenever I don't do it is when I falter so I'm reminding myself that um it's important to plan and <laughs> I feel like I could go off on a tangent right now, but I won't. But it, this was a good reminder to myself that it is important to to plan and get this stuff on paper and into action. So, first of all, I want to do some inventories. I recently actually did a pantry, freezer, and fridge pa um, inventory. However, I want to do that again. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I just want to do that again because I didn't keep up with it as well as I should have. Um, and so I want to make sure to do those things to know what I already have on hand and what I may need to stock up on prior to the layout layoff. Mostly that will be a lot of um, meat because meat is one of the most expensive things that you can buy. And our meals like to center around protein. And of course, that means that not all um, meals are focused around meat, but to have a different type of protein source like beans or something like that. Um, but meat is a, a staple in our diet, so I want to make sure that um, we have a nice healthy stock of that. I also want to go through our toiletries, meaning kind of um, the things like um, just the stuff that my husband uses for shaving and I don't even know. Um, 
toilet, I don't know, toiletries, all the things that we kind of have stocked away, hairspray, stuff like that. Um, and if I'm able to find good deals on some of those things, I will pick them up now um, rather than having to buy them on a non-sale if we happen to be in a layoff time. I also want to look at our paper products, things like mostly just toilet paper. Um, we get the Costco size um, containers of containers, the Costco size package of toilet paper, and that lasts us for a few months. We are due to need to pick some up within the next month or so, so I will want to make sure that we probably buy that within the next two weeks or so so that we have that uh, on hand. So over here, I just wrote a little note of some reminders, um, things that I do want to check on. So my husband uses uh, soap, um, and I just bought a couple bars recently at the health food store, just really natural kind of soap, so I need to stock up on that because I know he only has a couple bars of that. Definitely shampoo, we use that pretty much every day, at least I do, um, cosmetics. So again, I am, I love makeup, but um, I use mostly all drugstore products, and if I'm able to find a good deal, I will stock up on a couple things that are staples for me. Um, essential oils, some things that I know that I would like to have on hand our laundry soap and kids products. So mostly for the kids products, that is just their uh, bath and body, or their body wash. And we get the Honest Company body wash. I know I have one extra one on hand, but I would probably like to get another one or two. They come in a two pack at Costco. So if I buy one more pack, you know, we've got three bottles worth. And I actually use that as a body wash as well. So we probably go through it a lot less frequently um, because sometimes the kids I'll have them get in the tub, but I don't wash them every single night. I'll just let them rinse and kind of soak, um, but just to keep their skin nice. Um, my son definitely has some skin issues, so um, I don't like to wash him every day. But, of course, he's a toddler, and he's so dirty, So um, he, and he loves to play in the tub. So Then I want to be thinking towards winter, since we are um, kind of coming into summer. I want to be thinking towards winter what do we need and this is mainly food related thinking about canning and freezing and things like that and stocking our pantries now so i want that question to be in the forefront of my mind as we go throughout summer and we are looking ahead towards winter we were not able to put in a garden this year and i'm so brokenhearted about that i can't even tell you so we are kind of um, have to make up for that by going to the farmer's market and to pick local produce. Um, our area is known for wild blueberries, so blueberries will be coming in um, sometime next month, so we'll need to get out and get lots of blueberries um, and different things like that, so always thinking towards winter. We are going to be homeschooling my daughter for the first time this upcoming school year, and we have a lot to do to prepare for that. We are actually probably going to purchase most of her curriculum tonight. Um, I said to my husband, you know, let's, you know, we could spread it out, like buy a couple things this week, a couple things next week. And he's like, no, let's just buy all at once. So I'm pretty much prepared um, as to what we're going to purchase, uh, except her geography. Um, I'm pulling together my own resources for that. So I have some ideas, but I still need to work through that a little bit more. I purchased a bunch of read alouds for her. So what I did with this is that I went onto our library website and I looked up everything that I wanted to read with her. And our library sadly does not have a lot of classic children's books. Um, and so I ended up having to buy a bunch. I do have a list. I'm hoping to look through yard sales and things, but some I wanted to just have on hand because they are classics. And I know that we'll read them over and over again. And they're the kind of books that we can pass down to my kids or to their kids um, because I had these books when I was a kiddo. Um, and then just some um, other things that we'll need. And I will want to make an actual list of all of these things so that I have it on hand and I can, you know, kind of go through yard sales and thrift store and um, whatnot and be able to pick up those supplies inexpensively um, instead of retail for what we can. So next is the oils, and these are just some of the ones off the top of my head that um, I wanted to stock up on. 
I already have an extra bottle of On Guard, so I may not need that, but it's an oil that we use pretty often around here. So um, that one is from doTERRA, and it's kind of similar to the Thieves Blend, um, and we used that last year. We diffused it every other day, and we only had one cold the entire winter, and we each got that one cold, and then we didn't have any other sort of colds running throughout our house. And um, so I attribute that a lot to this On Guard. I read this book uh, a couple months ago and I fell in love with it. It's called Little House Living and she has lots of natural recipes for um, cleaning, for ointments like medical treatments and beauty products and the like. Um, and I really want to do more natural sort of products in our home. And so I want to go through her book and pick out some of the recipes that I think will um, benefit us the most and the ones that I can get the most bang for my buck with and um, get the supplies for those. Um, I also want to get an extra diffuser. Now, I don't know if this will happen. Um, this would be a great Christmas gift, um, but it is something for me to keep my eyes open if I do find a good deal. Sensi... Many of you know I was um, a consultant with Sensi for almost five years. They have a diffuser. It's incredible. It's the only one that has a lifetime guarantee against manufacturer defects. It is, like, pricey. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping to do a Sensi party this upcoming fall with all the new scents. And I'll be, you know, the hostess so I could use my hostess credit to maybe get an extra diffuser. Or I'll just find one cheaper. I'm not really sure, but I do definitely want at least one or two more diffusers. I need to consign some kids' clothes. I have lots of summer stuff, and it's been in my truck. I need to get over to the consignment store. It's another town away. I usually do um, really well with my consigning. And I save that money for the following season for new clothes. My kiddos don't have anybody really who hands down clothes to them. So I basically have to buy new wardrobes every season. So we do that as frugally as possible. One of the ways is by using the money that I can sign their clothes with from the previous season. So I need to do that and get that money socked away. Um, and then another thing that I want to do to save us money is to do away with paper towels. So we... Um, buy the Costco paper towels, love them, but I would love to eliminate that expense from our budget. They last us months and months and months, so really it's kind of cost effective for us because they do last so long. However, I would love to be friendlier to the environment and I would love to just do cleaning rags instead. Um, that'll be kind of a switch for us. Um, we don't use paper towels a ton. Um, but I'll, I use them for like windows and cleaning up really, really messy things. So we will definitely still have some on hand. However, um, I do want to make the switch to rags. So let me flip our page here. So this notebook is actually kind of like a home management notebook for me. Not that I necessarily fill it with, um, I don't know, like lots of pages about home management. But this is the notebook that I just kind of go to over and over again when I want to write home management things. If I don't rip it out, I know I can go into this notebook and there's a treasure trove of information in here that I can kind of go through different lists and ideas and um, inventories and stuff like that are all in here. I do want to work on updating my actual home management binder, but for now this is just serving that purpose. Next, I want to do a winter inventory inventory. This is pretty much everything that I know that we need. Um, I had a winter coat and I ended up throwing it away because it was several years old. The pocket was falling off. It just was really showing a lot of wear. So I threw that away and it was kind of like one of those pea coats. So um, I sort of need a dressier coat. I do have a winter um, down coat. I also had to throw my boots away because they had a hole in the bottom and wet feet are no good. Um, I did put that I uh, maybe wanted a new snow coat, well, snowy winter coat. Um, we'll see about that. I definitely need new mitts and a hat as well. So for me, I need to be totally outfitted for the winter. Um, my son will need a new snowsuit. We found last year that Costco had the best deal on snowsuits in July. I didn't buy them, my kids' snowsuits, in July. And I kicked myself all 
winter because by the time it was time to get snowsuits, they were extremely expensive. Um, we paid well over $100 uh, for my daughter, and that was on a sale. And we live in Northern Ontario, Canada, so my kids need quality, heavy snowsuits. We're not talking about anything twaffy here. We need something really good to be insulated from the winter. And with my daughter at school, they went outside twice a day. Um, so she really needed quality, quality um, snowsuits. We were able to find one for my son at the consignment store for $30. It was a Columbia snowsuit. Um, it was really great, but I think it's going to be a little too small this upcoming year. So I did a lot of price comparison last year um, from the different uh, children's companies around like Carter's and Children's Place, Consignment, everything like that. Consignment was really hit or miss for me. I, that's always my first go-to, but again, it was really hit or miss. Um, and we bought my daughter's at a larger size, so she is able to wear that again this year. And for my son, we're just going to go ahead and get him a one at Costco because again, it was the best deal. So um, that will be next month that we need to purchase that. Um, I have two upper pantry cabinets and they are tall cabinets. They have no shelving in them. Um, and it's where I store like a lot of things for like parties and whatnot. Um, like extra like dinnerware and they're very disorganized because they hold a lot of bulky pieces. I have an idea on how I'm going to organize them and I'm going to get some of these Sterilite bins and put the pieces inside the bins and stack the bins and my hope is to consolidate everything into one cupboard and use the other for food storage. Um, so that is my goal with that project. And next we need to rotate our water. Um, so I stocked up on lots and lots and lots of packs of bottles of water last summer, um, kind of as an emergency storage, and I wanna rotate through those. So we go to camp every summer. Um, we go for two weeks, two full weeks, and you can't drink the water at camp, so you do have to um, purchase it. Um, and it is far more convenient to just have bottles of water than to run to the um, little convenience store there and fill up your big um, water containers. Um, we do that, of course, for cooking and things like that. But as far as just everyday drinking water, it's better to have the water bottles. So anyways, I will take all of those packs of water up to camp with us. And this summer, you can buy packs of like 30 to 36 bottles of water for um, less than two dollars and so we'll stock up and replenish our um, water water stock um, I do want to again when I was talking about the meat I would love to buy a quarter of a cow um, it's several hundred several several hundred dollars um, so I don't know if that will be in our budget but I would love to do that um, and I'd love to get some chicken as well so we'll see if that can kind of happen so the other big goal for my summer is to do lots of canning and lots of preserving. So I have not actually canned by myself. It's been something that I've been studying and watching and reading and learning all about um, because it's an exact science. You have to do it exact or you could, you know, contract botulism and that is deadly. So it's an exact sort of thing and you need to be precise about it. My mom canned everything when we were growing up. But as many of you, many of you know, um, I live in Canada, um, my family lives in the United States, and I can't just have my mom come over and help me with canning. So I do hope to get home to Pennsylvania this summer. My sister has a big, beautiful garden. Um, her husband is, they're a farming family, um, and they have a huge garden, um, and so she's offered us a lot of their produce. So we will hopefully go down for about a week, and we will do some canning. I come from a very agricultural area in Pennsylvania, and everything is available. Grapes and cherries and peaches and apples and berries and anything, you name it, it is there. It's you're very, very rich agriculturally. So um, we're going to take advantage of that. So, which leads me to this final page. Um, this is just a list off the top of my head of things that I want to can and freeze for this upcoming year. We are known for our blueberries, so definitely um, getting wild blueberries, cherries, applesauce, strawberries, strawberry jam, corn, beans, raspberries, zucchini, summer squash, cauliflower, 
herbs. I have some pots of herbs and I'm not sure um, what I want to do with them as far as preserving those. Um, I'd love to do some apple chips and dehydrate some fruit, so I need to kind of look into that further. I have stock that I need to make here fairly soon. I just need to get some containers for it. Um, carrots, sauerkraut, pickles, peaches, lots of peaches. That's my favorite. I loved, as a kid, um, opening up a can of peaches in uh, the dead of winter, and it was like sunshine in a bowl. <laughs> it was so wonderful, so I would love to have lots and lots of peaches um, for my family. I'd love to do some tomato sauce, some <laughs> tomato sauce, salsa, and peppers, and those are kind of the things off the top of my head. Certainly, I'd love to do some um, various jams and different things of that nature, but um, we will see how that goes. So that is kind of my list as far as layoff planning is concerned. It's a lot of summer planning as well, um, but it kind of all rolls together um, when it comes to me and my family and my life and our lifestyle um, and so it all just marries in together so that is my thinking those are my plans um, of course we have been saving money um, all along and that didn't have anything factored into these planning pages um, we do have money of course set aside and saved up so um, if the layoff comes, you know, we're going to be okay and God is good and he's always provided for us. So, um, anyways, just wanted to check in and share with you this bit of footage of what I'm doing today. Hope you all are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.